Tonight, surveillance video showing a man smashing through a business and stealing hundreds of thousands worth of jewelry. And while owners are shocked by the brazen crime, News Channel 5's Matthew Torres explains why it's also become a reminder that good people are still out there. COVID-19 hasn't been helpful for businesses, but for a jewelry store here in Hillsborough Village, someone breaking in and stealing nearly 300 rings isn't helping, but it turned out some of them didn't go very far. It just keeps rolling. In a city where development is still reaching new heights, project manager Tim Golden tends to look up. Doesn't seem to stop. So it came as a surprise when he finds a prized worthy possession on the ground. Actually, I thought it was a piece of just metal or something laying around and uh, picked it up and it was a ring. He didn't think much about it until the next day. I see a, a guy kind of looking around for something and I kind of got excited. I thought, hey, I found this, it's this guy's ring. He's got to be looking for it. An employee of Village Cleaners down the block was looking for a ring, not because he was missing one, but because he'd already found a different ring outside his business that was stolen from a neighbor. It's difficult, but we persevere and we're working through it. Paul Wilson is one of the owners of Peacock Jewelry. More than a week ago, someone threw a piece of concrete block through the store and glass case to steal more than $300,000 worth of jewelry. The crook could be seen on camera around 10.15 that night, rushing away with several trays carrying nearly 300 rings. It made me angry that we've worked so hard to have what we have, and for somebody to do that to us, it hurts. Co-owner Joey Nunley says Metro Police found a couple of rings that night, but hearing from two men who found and returned two more rings was a gift you can't put a price on. I was just lucky that I found who it belonged to. I was very excited and thankful and grateful that we have neighbors that would be honest enough to give us back our stuff. Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. So far, no arrests have been made. Of course, if you know anything that could help investigators, call Crime Stoppers at 615-74-CRIME.